My name is Daniel Lago Marcino. I uh, grew up up in the Antelope Valley in a small town called Rosemond. Uh, you know, if you hit Palmdale, then you'll hit Lancaster, then you'll hit like a long stretch of desert. And then if you blink, you miss it, but you go through Rosemond on your way to, you know, Bakersfield or wherever else. There's not much to it. Didn't have a lot of direction coming out of high school and didn't have a lot going for me, so um, joined the military in 19. November 17, 2009, I joined the Air Force. Uh, did that for four years active duty. Uh, decided I wanted to get out, get my degree, uh, utilize my benefits, my GI benefits. And uh, so I went to, uh, I, I left the active duty Air Force, joined the National Guard uh, in California, and been doing that for the last four years. And you get so much out of service, you know, um, and the, the term everyone uses is, you know, thank you for your service, thank you for your sacrifice. And for a long time, I didn't really understand what they meant by uh, sacrifice because, you know, I'd never felt like I had lost anything. If anything, I've gained from the service. But, you know, it's just the more that I think about what sacrifice really means or what it means to me is, is just giving up uh, something good about myself or something better for everyone else. And I guess uh, every service member sacrifices something if you, if you consider it in that regard. And uh, I really appreciate the opportunity to be able to do that for, for my country. There is actually, um, there seems like, it seems like, especially lately with the rhetoric that's, you know, in the media and in the public eye, that uh, the service is some uh, homogenous pool of, of uh, republicanism. And, and that's just not the case. There's a, a, a wide representation of people in the service and you're going to get a wide representation of political opinions because of that. Uh, if you love your country and if you're committed to making uh, improvements in your community, in your state, in your country, uh, within yourself, in your personal life, then, then you're a patriot. And uh, to, to describe anybody as less than that just because they are of one political affiliation or another, I think that that's tremendously disrespectful and to characterize the entire military as, uh, as one thing is tremendously disrespectful to, to the diversity that's represented within uh, the military organization. I think that that's something um, that you see a lot more of in the military actually is respect for one another and the difference of opinions. Uh, once you share space with people in a, in a capacity like that and, and you realize uh, what they contribute and how um, that teamwork and that camaraderie just makes your life so much easier and so much better when you know you're far from home and you're missing your family uh, you're missing creature comforts like home cooking <laughs> um, yeah the, the differences of opinion matter less than the relationships that you build I think that's something that uh, should translate into uh, civilian life a little bit more it seems like politics in America is so divisive right now and you know well so I think that both parties do a really uh, a really poor job of, of representing veteran interests lately uh, that's that's a complaint I, that I would lodge with with any politician um, the VA is backlogged it's a uh, it's it's a nightmare to get through it's a, it's a headache to get your benefits um, you know I know I know heroes Purple Heart recipients that uh, feel like they're shortchanged from from the the VA system, and and you hear their story, and you just can't help but agree with them. Uh, and then there's this um, this uh, stigma too that you know these are you know our, our warrior class, our warrior elite, and they have to be able to to deal with these things on their own. And so uh, to an extent, you know we victimize veterans by uh, holding them to this like macho standard that I think is uh, uh, reductive, you know because. I mean, we're all, we're all well aware now that mental health is not something that only attacks weak people or that only, uh, you know, that strong people don't experience. It's, it's, uh, it's you know, everywhere. If you consider uh, what democracy is, it represents our capacity to do really good things, but um, our, our capacity to do, uh, you know, to commit injustices too is something that we need to recognize and safeguard against uh, within the construct of our democracy. Democracy is uh, exceedingly fragile 
Uh, history shows that America is by far the longest lasting democracy. Uh, and I think, you know, it was John Adams or Thomas Jefferson in uh, correspondence between each other. I think John Adams wrote to Thomas Jefferson uh, later on in their lives when they were no longer adversarial. Uh, he said that, you know, there had never been a democracy that hadn't committed suicide. And that just speaks to the fragile nature of democracy. And so we need to really uh, install safeguards against it. And when you think, uh, when you consider uh, our, our economic condition in this country is, is overwhelmingly capitalist, uh, which is fine. It provides for, you know, innovation. It, it grows wealth faster than a lot of systems, um, but it is exploitative. And so when when we choose to, to marry our economic system and our government system in the way that we do, we have to make sure that we install those safeguards. I think that if you want to fix something, you should start with what's at your doorstep. Um, I think if you want to be a leader, if you want to be an asset, uh, you have to know how to serve. I think that you can't really understand uh, how to serve until you realize that you're a part of something that's much bigger than yourself and that you owe at least a portion of your ability and your capacity to something bigger than yourself. Um, I think that if we took that approach a little bit more, uh, we could smooth out a lot of division too, just because you really begin to realize how much each individual has to offer when you get the opportunity to serve, especially alongside people that are different than you.